spring onion, huh? Your coriander, whatever you like, huh? And then we can just drizzle our magic sauce huh? on this, huh? All optional, huh? And then we have a final garnish of our beautiful bellfish, huh? And here we are, friends, huh? Time to have our own lunch, huh? And enjoy. They bought a bell fish. Sometimes they're called cutlass fish. It's a long, long fish. And, and so today we are trying to, to, to um, modify the, the recipe. The original recipe will be will be um, uh, frying it with quite a lot of oil. So now we try to have less oil, okay? And let's see if we are successful. Can you see? Wow. This one is not usable, but you can use it in the stock, okay? So maybe we can chop it. Since uh, this fish has no scale, huh? so it will stick to the wok easily to the pan and so usually they have to use a lot of oil and in order not to use the oil not to use a lot of oil we try to to um, uh, grill it first to make it uh, the, uh, to, to, to improve the textures before we, we um, uh, uh, marinate the, the fish in a good sauce so let's see if it, it works or not like this and you can see that the, the, the Fresh is very tender. So look, we have found that these two small fish in the in the tummy of this big fish, uh, so it's also add as our stock. Okay. And you can fry it, but I think it's okay. We just just throw it into it as a stock. And also the tail. Okay. Very quick, we fish and chat. So we will cut this off already into halves, the shallots, and then you can, you can produce a wonderful stock uh, from the fish head and also the fish tail and the two small fishes in the top of this big fish. Interesting. And meanwhile, this uh, fillet, um, at, at the sections, uh, you can have uh, this. dry this uh, fish section. Dress the, um, um, the fish and first of all we separate the yolk from the egg white and now we have uh, put a little bit of salt I think just like this. Okay half a, half a, uh, a teaspoon and drizzle some pepper and also some paprika. Uh, and now we are going to add our pepper, uh, our flour Thank you. Okay. I think this is already thick enough, huh? so no more corn starch. Otherwise, it's too thick. So, in this case, we would. We would uh, now, after this one is pet dry, it's pet dry already, yes. and then we can add cornstarch. And then we just can just sprinkle the cornstarch onto our fish, and then we can also sprinkle a little bit of salt, huh? just not much, huh? because we have already got a little bit of salt in this slurry. Can just flip over just to make sure it's quite dry. Eh? And then the same. Mm. 
just make it dry. Pack it dry. Almost dry. And this tray is already greased with oil as you see, huh? Just thin and then we just we, we would try to arrange it like this. Maybe I put it here huh? so that we can arrange more fish. Okay. You can just spread it over. All the time with recipe, yeah? I don't know whether you work on it. We try, okay. The purpose of, is to make the, the, the fish dry with less oil, huh? Because this fish without scales, protection, is very fragile and stick to the wok very easily. So by doing this, we are trying to make it dry before we, 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 we transfer it to a sauce. Of course, of course, you can brush it and dip it. But if you dip it, then the the the, um, the bottom side will be stuck to the the stainless stainless steel tray. So we try to modify it by only brushing this uh, batter on uh, only one side of the fish to begin with uh, the first stage. Okay, so it's fully dressed. Okay, like this. Okay, and now. If you can preheat the oven, it's better, but if not, uh, then we can just now start 15 minutes first uh, again and send to the oven. Uh. 15 minutes first and then uh, we have uh, 170 degrees Celsius. Uh. about five minutes uh, we take it out I forget one step I think it will be good uh, that we would uh, sprinkle some some green uh, you can have fresh one but since we have a dried one so we pack it here any green any green like uh, coriander or um, or spring onion Like this, optional steps. I think it helps to complement the taste. Huh? Start again. Ten minutes more. Hmm. Should be some water. Yes, very good. No problem at all. This is the why we. Okay, now after fifteen minutes, there come we have some water coming out. This is the purpose of this. Huh? Is to dehydrate this fish okay very nice and now yeah okay so we can now drain away this uh, wash the hands because it's quite hot and now we can just just dehydrate it so in view of this I think you can we can further brew it a little bit huh can further brew it a little bit. Meanwhile, this is the egg yolk, huh? and we add a little bit of oil. And up to this moment, huh, no oil is added, huh? so you can see. This is a much better option with less oil. Glaze this fish just like a cake. Uh, remember with pastry and then with glaze and everything. So one egg, two steps. Okay. 
make the color even more attractive. And now we can also brush the side of the fish a little bit. Fish, and then we have a nice soup huh, for other purpose. Huh? Send it over again. For another five minutes. Huh? That's for the fish, okay? Our bell fish. And so now we have one, one tablespoon of uh, light soy sauce, uh, one tablespoon of uh, the ch the the ch Jinjiang uh, uh, vinegar, the black vinegar, Chinese black vinegar, and then we have a little bit of dark soy sauce, just a little bit. Oh, okay. sorry, so much. Never mind. Okay, and then now we just have a very simple, very very simple dip, uh, uh, heated pan. Okay, we put in our oil. Throw in our shallots, dice the shallots, okay? And then our garlic, uh, our ginger, ginger, and then our uh, garlic. Uh. And uh, meanwhile, we will leave a little bit more garlic and more shallots. Uh. Because raw garlic and raw shallots are also good to you. During the heating process, huh, the garlic will lose some of uh, its uh, precious uh, nutrients. So if you can stand with the pungent smell of the garlic, you can have a little bit raw garlic. So it's almost there. Okay. And now we can just simply throw in this this uh, cook. The fried uh, mixture of aromatic ginger, garlic, and shallots into this sauce. And meanwhile, you still have the heat wok, huh, right? So now you have the, the fish stock. Huh? So you can throw in a little bit. This fish stock huh, go into the wok. Okay. Just to wash your pan huh? nicely. So this is another way uh, you wash your pan nicely without excessive detergent. Huh? And just throw in. Wonderful. And meanwhile, our fish is also grilled huh? successfully. This is the raw, huh? If you can't stand it, then you cook it, huh? But we can stand it. It's uh, fresh and refreshing. Fresh and refreshing. So we just mix it. Okay. And once. Huh? Then you can present it nicely, huh? You can just throw in, but of course we want to transfer it to a plate, huh? 